I asked the same thing. You're texting Diane. I'm like, I want to call her the right thing. Her name is Tiana, which is, she anglicizes to Diane. Oh, okay. so, so you can go either way and you're just fine. Yeah, there's no there's no correct yeah. answer. Yeah. 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 Childs. All right, Jill. Yay! Um, Julie Molinaro. Is Julie here? And uh, Anita, Anita Schuper. I think Anita's here. All right. Uh, Lee Scott. Lee! Lee, Lee here? And I might embarrass Lee by saying this, but Lee is a superpower walker in our presence today. I'm going to tell everyone, I hope you don't mind, she recently completed a half marathon power walking in two hours and 17 minutes. That is the time it takes many people to run a half marathon. So Lee, you are incredible. Now we're going to Mary Athens. Um, now, Mike, where's Mike? Are the results up yet? Okay, within the next five minutes, your results are going to be posted on the side of the tent. We have a bunch of Sharpies. You'll notice on the back of your shirts, there's space to write down how many kilometers you went. So if you'd like to, that will be posted momentarily. Results will also be available online at Chip Time Results. Eat some more food, drink some more water. But that is it for today. And so thank you guys so much.
the local member of provincial parliament, MPP Jonah Shine, and uh, the rail path run has just concluded. Um, what surprised you, um, or what just happened today? Uh, so today, uh, amazing folks from this community raised almost $5,000 for a really great local community organization called the Stop Community Food Center, and they raised it uh, through a run here. Uh, so folks were running along the West End Rail Path here, and uh, a lot of people participated. This is the first annual run that we've had. And I understand that uh, shortly after you were elected in a by-election, um, or not actually, the general election, the general election yeah. excuse me, um, that they had approached your office uh, with the idea? Yeah, they just said they said that they had this idea, they wanted to make it happen, and uh, you know, I'm really encouraging of community uh, activists to get involved in this sort of thing. And I think one of the really cool things is that this is a rail path that a lot of, it's new, it's only a few years old, and a lot of people don't even know it exists. Um, and so it's a way of making sure that people know that there's a, a place for recreation and uh, here in the riding. And uh, it's really pivotal to people too because we're fighting as an issue around uh, this rail line and the fact that uh, the provincial government's plan to put more diesel trains on this line and we are all very supportive of good transit. The so minority we, government. So yes, the it, minority it government. It can change at any That's time. Right. Yeah. Uh, now I understand you just weren't an observer and the MPP. You actually participated in the prize draw? Yeah. Uh, what was that all about? Uh, so just uh, some of the sponsors had uh, some prizes for all the participants. Oh, no, kept, and there's a raffle there. here today, so some great prizes by local uh, small businesses and so forth. And uh, is it one of the prizes that they have a conversation with you or something? Yeah, uh, somebody, we're going to have coffee together soon. So Okay, that's pretty good. To it. Well, uh, Jonah Shine, thank you very much uh, Thanks, for a few moments. And we're going to go back to the coffee. Nice to see you. You are... I'm Shazia McCormick. And this is all your fault. It is all my fault. What is this? This is the rail path run. I'm a local community member and I run on the rail path. And about a year ago I was running and I said, why aren't we doing more here? And uh, just a, a spark of an idea turned into a big idea by getting great support from our city government, from members of the community, and then all these great participants that came out. Now, this is a very busy weekend. There's another run... Yes. That has thousands of people. Yes. We just had Nuit Blanche, which is tens of thousands yes. of people. The Firefighters Memorial is pulling a lot of politicians uh, to Queen's Park today. And yet, you met your goals. Yes, we had almost 150 people out. I think it's because it's a great public space and it's a grassroots community effort. So people can relate to it and engage with it. And the participants were all different ages and yes. sizes and yes. families. Yes. So what does that say to you? Did that surprise you? Uh, no, we structured it that way, having a wave of people that were really competitive and wanted to come out and try and run 12 kilometers in 45 minutes, and then a second wave that was more casual and family friendly. So everyone can benefit from the rail path. You don't have to be an athlete. So is this going to be a one-off thing or a continual? Well, we've heard a lot of people say they'd like to have it again, and so if we can build a good base of a steering committee to make it happen again um, with appropriate balance of time, I know all of us have jobs as well, so if we can pull it off next year, we'll definitely try to. And for people who are watching this online, they can learn more about this at? Yep, at railpathcommunityrun.wordpress.com. We'll be blogging. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, at railpathrun. At railpathrun. And Shazi McCormick, Cyber Shaz on yes, Twitter. Exactly. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Happy Railpath Run 1. Thank you.